one who wore on the self same day, how one was kept and one given away. And did you never hear how the Johnstons died, never knowing that they shared one name? Until the day they died, when a mother cried, My own dear sons lie slain. And did you never hear of the mother so good as a stone in case of her heart? Well, bring her on and judge for yourselves.
remind me of all the larger presents. Oh, with Mr. Lyons being away, and that when does get that, Mrs. Lyons? Oh, it seems such a long time. The company sent him out there for nine months, so what's that? He'll be back in about five months' time. <sighs> You'd be glad when he's back, won't you? This house won't feel so empty then, will it? Actually, Mrs. Che, we bought such a large house for the, for the children. We thought children would come along. Oh, so might be able to. No, I'm afraid. I wanted to adopt, but Mr. Lyons is... Well, he said he wanted his own son, not someone else's. Myself, I would even to adopt a child and become one's own. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's weird though, ain't it? Here's you, can't have kids, and here's me, you can't stop having them. My husband used to say that all we had to do was shake hands and I'd be able to up again. I just shook hands with me before I left. I'm having another, you know. Oh, <coughs> I see. Oh, but it's alright, Mrs. Lyons, it's alright. I'll still be able to do my work. I and mean, maybe it's like club work to me. I'm back on my feet and working the next day, you know. If I have this one at the weekend, I won't even need to take a day off. I love this job, you know. I can just manage to get by and... Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god, what's wrong? The shoes, the shoes! Pardon? New shoes on the table, take them off! Thank god, Mrs. Lyons, you never put new shoes on the table. You don't know what will happen. Oh, you mean you're superstitious? No, but... Never put new shoes on the table. Oh, well, well, look at the window, you're up here, I'll put them away. And a joke with it. The salt's been spilled and the looking glass cracked. There's one lone magpie overhead. I'm not superstitious, the mother said. I'm not superstitious, the mother said. What are you doing here? I'll be able to you to Thursday. Actually, I've given up on your crowning moment of medicine. I'm a gynecologist. Let's have a look into the baby's teeth, shall we? I was dead worried about having another one, you know, Doctor. Didn't know I was going to manage with another mouth to feed. Now I've got me a job, we'll be okay. We can just manage to scrape by even with another mouth to feed. Nice, Mummy. What? Plural, Mrs. Johnston. Mouths to feed. Congratulations, you're expecting twins. And the next one, please, nurse. Surely it's better to give one 
child to me. Look, look at least the child to me. Did you ever see him every day as you can work? Please, Mr. Jones, please. Are you, are you that desperate for a baby? Why? Why did we have to do that? 
This is Jay. Nobody must ever know about this. Therefore, we have to have an agreement. Right. I shan't be long. Bye. How swiftly those who've made a fight can come to a good fight or wish their agony to be delayed. But a debt is a debt.
lovely sun. Love anything you ever wanted. Well, will he have his own back? Yeah, <laughs> with both wheels on. Why don't I have a bike, eh? Uh, you'll have a look in the catalogue, eh? See what the bikes are like in there. <coughs> no, I'm on the car, I said. You said I can't be dressed up! Don't come on there, Miss Dawes. Let's look at the catalogue.
it sounds very good by just saying. <laughs> Fantastic! When I go home, I'm going to look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> what? The dictionary. Don't you know what a dictionary is? Yeah, of course I do! It's, it's a thingy, isn't it? It's a book that explains the meaning of words. The meaning of words, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sam will be here soon. Ivy's in a good mood. He's dead mean sometimes. Why? He's got a plate in his head. A plate? In his head? Yeah, when we were younger, my mum was at work and I Marie was supposed to be looking after us and he fell out that window and he broke his head. He rushed him to hospital and put a plate in his head. A plate? A dinner plate? <laughs> no, Sammy says it's not really that big. It must be one of those side plates you had to break off. A side plate? Yeah, no, it's on the top. And you can see the shape of it in his head? Oh, I suppose. I suppose if you looked under his hair, you know the most smashing things. <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Yes! What, what's your name? Mark Johnston, but everybody calls me Mickey, what's yours? Edward Lyons. They call you Eddie. No. Oh, I would. Would you? Yeah, how old are you, Eddie? I'm seven. I'm older than you, aren't you, Eddie? Well, I'm Eddie, actually. Oh, yeah, when's your birthday? July the 18th. Who's mine? Oh, was it really? I'm just thinking of your brothers. Do you want to be my brother? Thank you. 
we can meet this larger rule. I can promise you, I have more time. That's why we're doing it, Jen. If we complete this, the firm will run itself and have plenty of time to spend with them both. But I just... It's not me, it's, it's Edward. You should spend more time with him. I don't... I don't want him growing away from you. Well, oh, Daddy, how do you spell bogeyman? Ask oh, Mummy, darling. I really want to know. Mummy? Mummy, how do you spell bogeyman? Hmm? Bogeyman. Edward, remember, did you hear such a thing? I've tried to look it up. There's no such thing as a bogeyman. It's a, a superstition. The sort of thing a silly mother might say to her children. The bogeyman will get you. Do you hear me? Edward, I've told you there's no such thing.
Because when we swear, we cross our fingers. Oh, my fingers are crossed. No. Middle of the 
today, just to say you haven't seen him for a couple of hours, maybe we should be thinking about getting you something for your nerves. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. It's just, just this place. Richard, I hate it. I don't want to stay here anymore. I want to move. How many times the factory is here, my work is it here. It doesn't have to be so my father. But Richard, we've got to move. Because, because I feel like if we stay here, it's something terrible. Oh, nice. Something bad. I really do think you should see a doctor. I don't need to see a doctor. I just need to, to get away from this place because because I'm frightened. Right. I'm frightened for Edward. I'm frightened. No!
the lies. I just got this pocket money if I was here. <laughs> but one thing I would like to say, if you don't mind, well, I'm not sure I'd let him mix with the likes of them in the future. He always sits with his own kind of salons. Ooh, well, I'm for the grip, sir. All the best now. He's good back, aren't you, man? <laughs> good night. Good night, sir. Edward, how would you like to move to another house? Why is it? Well, various reasons, really. Um, Mummy's not been feeling too well lately, and he thought maybe a move somewhere out towards the country might help. Like that? Well, you think about it, old chap.
ordinarily wants to give someone else.
Ladies and gentlemen, there will now be an interval of 15 minutes, during which time we request that you leave the theatre so that we can do some scene changes. Thank you. Oh, 
school are? How old are you? He's 14, we both are. Poor Penny's gone for his old days. Same for me. No, son. What? You're older than 14? Sammy! Shut it! I'm 14 and I want a full penny scholar. Do you know the penalty for trying to defraud? I'm not defrauding no one! Hey Billy, take the next left, will ya? We've got another one for the cop shop here. What? Oh, Sammy, tell him you're joking. Tell him you're really 16. I'll lynch you the rest of the fair. Bugger off! Move! Now give me the bag! Sammy! Sammy! Come on, give me! Stop the bus! That's 
mother, why on earth did you think that was me? I've never looked at it like this. Oh, 
she your girlfriend? Yeah. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> One of them? How have you got a girlfriend? Me. Me. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Nikki, you seem to have rather a lot of them. Perhaps you'd share one with me. Share one? She's happy with your one girlfriend. But, Linda, you said... Oh, yeah, I must say it. I mean, she would be my girlfriend. She said she loves me all right, but I suppose it's just... Yeah, difficult. What? I'm not my little son. You must, you must. Yeah, I know I must. And every time I see her, I promise myself I'll tell her. The words just... You look straight into her eyes and you say, Linda, I love you. I want you. The very core of my being is longing for you. My loins are burning for you. Let me lend my weary head against your warm rest. And then Mickey, her eyes are half closed and her voice seems somewhat husky as she pleads with you. Be gentle with me, Mickey. Be gentle. Oh, shit. Look, it's easy. I've seen it how it's done. Look, for one week only, at the Odeon, a nymphomaniac nights and Swedish au pairs. <laughs> we'll have to go home and get some money. It's all right, I've got money and I'll lend. No, no, it's fine. My mum will give it to me. Well, come on then, before my mum sees me, she's off her bean, you know. <laughs>